so now z1 by z2 how to find out z1 by z2 z1 is say a1 plus ib1 this is a2 plus ib2 just we discussed here now multiply with the conjugate complex number of a2 plus ib2 so this is a1 plus ib1 by a2 plus ib2 multiply with a2 minus ib2 by a2 minus ib2 so this is a1 a2 plus sorry minus i a1 b2 plus i a2 b1 minus i square b1 b2 by this is a plus b into a minus b again we get a2 square minus i square b2 square i square is minus 1 so we get a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus a2 b1 minus a1 b2 i upon a2 square plus b2 square this is the division of the two complex numbers okay so let us have one question so what is the question we can equate the two complex numbers that means z1 is equal to z2 we can write but can we compare the two complex numbers so like this z1 is greater than z2 and z1 is less than z2 can we say so absolutely no so that means inequality property does not hold good in complex number system only the two complex numbers can be equated but one complex number less than other complex number or one complex number is not greater than other complex number so that means inequality property does not hold good so now so let us go for some more extension regarding to the complex numbers just we have discussed its modulus also suppose how to find out the modulus of product of two complex numbers mod of z1 into z2 so mod of z1 into z2 means need we find out the multi product of z1 and z2 no need the simply we can write this is equal to mod of z1 into mod of z2 that's all so it can be extended for more than product of two complex numbers also so mod of z1 into z2 into z3 equal to mod z1 into mod z2 into mod z3 so can it be generalized so why not we can generalize this also so that means mod of z1 into z2 into z3 into so on zn is equal to mod of z1 into mod of z2 into so on mod zn we can write it okay now so let us have the concept of square root of a complex number how to find out square square root of a complex number that is we know a plus ib form so let us have a discussion square root of a complex number square root of a complex number how to find out the square root of a complex number so now here i will explain the total method generalization method so we can derive a formula so better in the examination just make use of that formula itself only better remember formula the procedure is not is need not required while attempting in the examination because this is the examination special session so let us derive the formula 
for how to find out square root of a complex number. So, let us consider z is equal to a plus i b. What is our objective? What is our aim? Here our aim is to find out its square root. Its square root means root over a plus i b. So, here a plus i b is a we know complex number. The square root of a real number is in already lower classes that means in secondary level in 10th class or 8th class or 9th class already we have discussed the square root of a real number is always a real. But whereas square root of a, a negative number we know that that leads to a actually imaginary number or new system that is the complex number system we know. So, that means here square root of a here complex number is also a complex number. So, that that will be in the form of let us say in the form of x plus i y form. It may be plus or minus, it may be plus or minus. So, say equation 1. Now, we have to find out x value y value in terms of a and b. Now, first squaring on both sides, squaring on both sides. If you square on both sides, you get here a plus i b, this will be x plus i y whole square. So, a plus i b, this is x square plus i square y square plus 2 i x y. We know i square is equal to minus 1. So, we can write x square minus y square plus 2 x y into i. Now, the two complex numbers are equated already we have discussed equality of two complex numbers. When we equate two complex numbers real part is equal to real part imaginary part equal to imaginary part. So, that means equating real and imaginary imaginary parts on both sides on both sides. So, that means if we equate real and imaginary parts on both sides we get x square minus y square is equal to a equation 1 and 2 x y is equal to b we get second equation. So, now consider one of the algebraic identities x square plus y square whole square this is we can write x square minus y square whole square plus 4 x square y square. Okay. So, now this is nothing but a square plus this is nothing but b square. Now, x square plus y square equal to root over a square plus b square that will be plus or minus say equation 3. Now, if you solve equation 1 and 2 we get x value and y value that will be the required one. So, solving 1 and 3 that means x square plus y square here equal to plus or minus root of a square plus b square. Otherwise, you take plus value no problem here like this only x square minus y square is equal to a. So, first adding adding so, if you add what do you get let us see 
y square y square cancel 2x square is equal to root of a square plus b square plus a x square is equal to root of a square plus b square plus a by 2. What is x? Root of root of a square plus b square plus a by 2. This is x value. Now, similarly, if you subtract, if you subtract, see what will happen now? these two will be gets cancelled 2 y square you get minus sign. So, y is equal to we get root of a square plus b square minus a by 2. Okay? Now, it is very hard to remember. So, better let us do what is root of a square plus b square? root of a square plus b square is nothing but modulus of a plus ib. So, better for remember as a r, where r is equal to modulus of mod z. 